guys, your video here. Hey guys, your video here. Um, unfortunately, Oni's file got corrupted. His computer shut down in the middle of us recording, and we lost our intro. Or basically, we just talked about, you know, me having food poisoning and and how my poops are. Anyways. Yeah, sorry there's no intro, but we do segue right into our new segment this week in anime, so sorry about that. Nonetheless, it's a good episode, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye! Hey guys, so <laughs> it's gonna be one of those, uh... It's gonna be one of those episodes, clearly, mm -hmm. between uh, Oni's computer crashing and my food poisoning. It's gonna be a great old time. Guess my computer has food poisoning too. Mm hmm. You see, <laughs> them baby carrots are taking everybody <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, anyways, back to what I was saying. According to Crunchyroll.com, uh, the live action Yu Hakusho Netflix series. Uh, reveals who they're casting as Yusuke Yurameshi. Um, excuse me, in addition to giving a release date of the series, which is in, on Netflix, December 2023, uh, they reveal Yosuke will be Yosuke. Yusuke. Is it Yusuke? That's okay. No, 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 no. That's why. That's why I questioned it. I paused. Yosuke. Why did Control call it Yusuke? Typo. Like multiple no, it is, times. It is Yusuke. You mean it Yusuke. is Yusuke? Yeah. They call okay, it Yusuke. but Crunchyroll, girl. <laughs> Crunchyroll. Hmm. Uh, okay. Anyways, Yusuke will be played. By Taki Kitamura, who recently played Takemichi in live action Tokyo Revengers film. So I guess, you know, I guess they're like, oh, you know, you know how Netflix does. They love recycling um actors. Mm. Um, you know, some people they have their uh, concerns. Wait, is this an American <laughs> thing or just a Japanese thing? Um, I think it's a Japanese thing. Oh, it has a chance. It, right, right. Mm -hmm. It has a chance. It has a chance. Um, it's just my thing is, oh, we just I don't think we need it. I don't think we need. First off, if you're gonna do a live action of anything, I, I feel like Yu Yu Show is one of the worst shonens to try to do a live action of, right? Because it's very purposely leans in. It's like Dragon Ball Z. It leans into like the crazy, unrealistic, you know, like insane fighting and all the energy blasts and shit. Right. Like, it's my... really hard to adapt. My thing is, the only time I would feel like it could be successful would be if it would cover, like, the early parts of Yu Yu show, which mm -hmm. are obviously, I won't, I won't say the worst, but the least They're exciting. The most boring, yeah. The, the, people who hear Yu Yu show, they just want Dark Tournament arc, right? Right. If it's not adapting the Dark Tournament arc. <laughs> Period. Oh, excuse me. Just adapt Kenichi's Strongest Disciple. Just do that. I feel like that's like the only shonen that would translate well into all and I, and I would love that because it's yeah. such a good series. Get like a good uh, martial arts director, the guy who does like Ip Man and shit or whatever. Like it's so easy to translate that into a live action movie. That's actually really smart. Netflix won't. <laughs> they won't do that, but that's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I will say the Yusuke they got. It's not. A, bad casting's not bad he has he has a big he's got the he's got big enough hair he looks they all off. look like k-pop artists i'm sorry i mean I yeah him, no they're, they're i mean it's this is having japan they're all gonna look pretty yeah wait have they all been revealed i see karama you... hie and and yusuke oh so the others have been revealed too mm. okay well, <laughs> good. I don't, they're just I too I'm... pretty. I don't know. I guess that's the same across the board, though. Wait, you? I'm like, you want the? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, 
I mean, yeah, they're not gonna. Be... <laughs> I mean, I I re... wait no, because Kuwabara. I wonder what they're gonna do for. Yes, Kuwabara. I mean, like you, you because have to show them have no, the prettiest it's... characters. Wait, they're whoa, whoa, whoa. Tro- tro- Trotamate, Trotamate, Trotamate. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. If anything, Karama and Hie are both very pretty boys. Karama, yes. Yusuke, 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 Yusuke on the edge. Kurama's supposed to, not Kurama, um, Kuwabara. is supposed to be ugly as sin. So, I'm interested in how they're gonna, you know, I won't, I mean, it's probably gonna be another pretty boy, but I, I, I'm curious, I'm most interested in who's going to be cast as Kuwabara. Yeah. It's, it's they're just gonna be, like, <laughs> a very pretty boy with, like, some orange hair, that's it. Probably. <laughs> It was just gonna look like Ichigo. <laughs> I'll probably just get Ichigo. The guy who plays Ichigo. <laughs> Period. So yeah, well, we're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Thoughts and prayers for everyone mm-hmm. involved. What do you have for us, Sony? Um, on the lighter side of things, and also related to Netflix, uh, on the other side of the world, Netflix America. The Resident Evil Netflix series uh, debuted last weekend, or this weekend, and um, it wasn't really well-received, but what's Um, funny about it is it, for some reason, just went ham with obscure references. Yes. So, they name-dropped Decadence, the anime. That's what I heard. Yeah, also... Naya, the torrent site for getting, you know, alleged torrent site for allegedly downloading, you know, anime. Allegedly. I always thought it was pronounced Nya. I'm still going to pronounce Nya and you can't stop yeah, me. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. If, if this is an American adaptation, they definitely got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, no, it was definitely Nya. It's supposed to be Nya. It's like a cat noise. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, Nya. And uh, they also name dropped Clanad. Which is not the way I wanted Clonad to be integrated into the uh, Resident Evil lore. If if integrated <laughs> at all. What? Clonad. Yeah, Clonad. Like, I told you, it's like the most obscure references. <laughs> it doesn't mention it in this particular article, but I saw it on Twitter. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I just hope Fuko appears in fucking Resident Evil 9. <laughs> Right. Um. <laughs> they see some giant demon bad guy, and the only thing it says, it's a starfish. Starfish. <laughs> <laughs> also, they they uh, what do they call it? like the opening lines is them talking about Zootopia porn. So you know, oh, yeah, I I, I I saw that clip. On that Twitter. was floating around. Yeah. Like, damn. Why can't Resident Evil just get a good adaptation? Is it that hard to adapt Resident Evil? Really? It's not like it's like a Shakespearean novel, right? It, it's very simplistic. It's right. very easy to adapt. It, this, is, this is zombies and T-virus. Mm-hmm. Like, go off. Ugh. Oh, well. That was about as nonsensical as the rest of our anime lineup. Mm-hmm. Without any further ado, let's get into it with our weekly review, starting up with Made in the Abyss Season 2, Episode 2, so where, so once again, they find a new way to disgust me. I don't know. I feel like this was a less disgusting yes, episode. Yes, no, it was, it was less disgusting. Still although, disgusting, although well, disgusting. I don't know. They didn't do that butt stuff with the, the hair. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's what <laughs> disgusted me. Never mind. I take it back. Yep. See, I, my, 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 my brain tried to protect me from the really out-of-pocket scene. We were like, ha, huh, brain, brain, brain was like, let's just settle for you being disgusted by them cooking the, the almost hatched fetuses oh uh, yeah and, and you the fact about it too hard is kind of gross <laughs> and the fact and the fact that even after they were deep fried they were still moving they have heat resistance they're like uh <laughs> yeah like why did they just i don't know i was gonna say some pokemon but i don't know if they have any pokemon that are heat resistant that you could still eat 
my, mind you, baby they're Charmanders. Dead. Mind you, they're dead after that. That had, that would have nothing to do. Well, I don't know if I they think. were even really a lot. Like, all right, so they're like half developed fetuses. No, they're, they're about to hatch. Yeah. Oh, right, so then they're like fully developed fetuses. Yeah, like they're basically like babies. <laughs> so it'd be the equivalent of just like taking like a about to hatch fertilized chicken egg and then like eating that shit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 <laughs> the chicken moves in your mouth as. No, it's, yeah, it is gross. It is yes. gross. Yes, I it give is you that. Disgusting. I do appreciate <laughs> the, the the cuisine lessons that we get from the show. It was nice. That's it's like it it, it bounced out with that, even though I was still thoroughly disgusted. I love how the Nazis always just like, oh my god, it's so fucking gross. You guys are right. disgusting, and then she'll be like, okay, I want that though. <laughs> She's like, okay, but delicious. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a chief. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that. They're eating. They're over here eating chicken fetuses, but you, you're struggling with your carrots. <laughs> you know, maybe I need to. Maybe I need to start eating some chicken fetuses. Mm-mm. Oh my god, that scene where they intercepted the letter mm. with the with the big. They were like, and I love how it was like some big hopeful scene or it's like yes. so we get it we don't know we have to really be positive and like nanachi was being so inspirational first mm. of all nanachi is like very like she has so much wisdom i, really I know like i love nanachi she's like big sister wise strategist yeah you. yeah um and i love how she gave like that little speech and then they're like yeah let's send it up and then you just see the giant monster <laughs> bird just eats it <laughs> they just like stare at it blankly like uh i guess that didn't work <laughs> <laughs> that's funny wait i feel like i never asked you this because i'm almost afraid of the answer mm. would you lose none of you so anyway later on in the episode no! <laughs> uh, i don't know what you're talking dude, about i'm not looting anyone in made an abyss i'm not looting anyone in made an abyss dude come on <laughs> dude come on i like what? her for her personality uh-huh right? <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh sure sure i she believe has that a, she has a very fluffy tail i d- uh, yeah tail you know, quote, you know i weak the fluffy tails god it's like there's there's so much wrong with that like oh wow she, she she's on she's on the wrong side of furry i hope you know that you you cross you cross the line if it, if it makes you if it makes you feel any better the one i would probably lose the most would be prushka assuming she was around i forget who she looks like so you got it Aww, i, I feel like I, I her looks already Listen, there's a lot of Prush. Oh, I can't. I can't spell her name. Prush. Made. In abyss. Of course. Yeah, she's cute. Mm-mm-mm. Listen, you... I'm not saying I would loot Nanachi. I'm just saying if there happened to be Nanachi loots mm. lying around, mm. I wouldn't necessarily look away. Hmm. Yeah, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that, right, that I think that I was like wait a minute would Oni would, would Oni nah he wouldn't <laughs> would he and now I know you nasty ass bitch mm, let's talk about one thing I loved about this episode though is, mm-hmm. is, mm-hmm. is the continuity I forgot that Reg doesn't have he's missing an arm it's just like he's still missing an arm <laughs> yeah I forgot. Wait, when did I forgot when he lost that the other arm? He lost the uh, in the movie. They like yeah. I'm assuming anything crazy that happened. Yeah. What? Yeah, but they just like uh, the the other scientist dudes like just sawed off his hand, his other arm. Mm. Was it like his quote unquote flesh arm? No, they were both robot arms. Right. Okay. Yeah, but it also had blood in it, so uh, it was like half flesh, half robot. Oh. Uh, yeah, they did a lot to him. <laughs> yeah, poor, poor uh, Reg. Poor Reg. Um, <laughs> I mm, like how they have right. like the uh, the fucking Zodiac killer following them. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that part. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah, they 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 snuck by all the traps, cut off our hair, took our hair, <laughs> killed some animals, 
shoved the hair <laughs> up the animal's buttholes and sewed the buttholes up. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'd be like, at that point, I'd be like, all right, you know what? We, we're not yeah. cut out for this place. We, this place is too tough. I'd be like, let's just go on to the next area. Yeah, let's we're just done. We're, we're done. Let's just cut our losses and do it. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, no, that was not cute. That was, oh, that was so gross. Oh, I did like, I, I, I like that scene Um, where Drag was afraid of the forest field. Yeah. And it was like, am I through it yet? Am I through it? And they were just looking at him like, girl. And then <laughs> the the little bunny thing jumps into it. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cute. Uh, the monsters at the end. Woo! I was like, wow. I, I Wow, what kind of um Friday night at Freddy's DLC is this? Yeah, I was thinking um <laughs> you were thinking Five Nights at Freddy's. I was thinking um what's that movie? The the Jack Skellington movie. Um Oh um Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, that. Oh, that too. And then, oh god, and they, and they weren't speaking English at first. Well mm-hmm. Japanese at first. Yeah, they do look pretty freaky though. Very unsettling. Especially the one that was talking to them. Oh, yeah. He was like... That was the worst. That was a Five Nights at Freddy's. That was 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 Super Friday. That (laughs) was definitely um, some FNF shit. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I would have attacked him on site. Like, not fuck out of here. (laughs) Especially when he came up to me talking some other language. I mean, I wouldn't have attacked him on site, but I definitely would have been ready. (laughs) (laughs) I would have been ready. Because, you know, when Monster looks like that, you don't know what he's going to do to you. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I guarantee Mm -hmm. those are all the... uh, original people who made it down there probably probably would um you know because towards the end they say oh what we realize is that people lose their human forms mm-hmm. and i'm just like oh. i'm like damn is is rico about to be a bunny girl mm-hmm. Crazy. I, I like how, how Rico's the only one who faces threats in the series because Rick and Nachi are both like immune to the things. Yeah, that means like half the shit. Mm-hmm. And it's just her who's like, oh, I'm almost dying to everything. Yeah. It's so it's the way that she's the main character, and yet she's just the one who's always on the ver like the one who's always at risk of dying. Yeah, she's literally just the uh the soul of the team, like just like the spunky leader. She's, yeah. <laughs> other than that, she's like the most vulnerable, the weakest. Yeah, th- th- those things. Everything, everything bad. <laughs> but she's a good girl, so I thought. Yeah, I love. Yeah, Rico's great. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Overlord, season four, episode two. Ooh. So. <laughs> It's the way I had so many questions as I started watching this. Because mm-hmm. they were just calling up everything that happened from season three. But season three was a minute ago. So, um, I do remember my homegirl, the princess. Miss yes, Crazy, Miss Bashir, Crazy Princess. Yeah, sold this episode for me. Yeah, Her and Albedo sold this episode for me. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So good. Um, and we get to see how, you know, we, we get to observe the politics that are happening post the, the giant battle. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. Albedo greets them. First of all, the princess. I forget how much, how much smarter her, the princess is. Oh, yeah, she's, like, way smarter than everyone. Then, like, she's been yeah. manipulating everyone else in the whole castle. Yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> like she was, she was right two steps ahead of her brother. Mm-hmm. And then her and brother's like, "I'll offer you a village." She's like, "Ah, I don't want that shit anymore. I got better offers now." Right. And then this Humpty Dumpty ass bitch Philip mm-hmm. is like, "Her, her, her, her. Let me make my own moves and try to win Albedo's." Um, favor. I want to hate Philip, but I can't knock his game. Like, at least, at least he's trying, you know? 
He's trying yeah. in a really dumb way right. to do something really stupid, but at least he's trying. He's chasing his dream. And he has good taste. But it's like... There's so many things wrong with his approach. <laughs> On so many <laughs> <Literally>. levels. <laughs> <laughs> like not knowing how Beto's a fucking super god demon. That might help. That, I mean... But did you but did you not hear of how the battle went? I feel like you should know that they're not of human. <laughs> they're not like of he, a... he knows he's she's not human, but he's obviously vastly underestimating her uh combat right. ability. He probably just thinks she's like some diplomat that's just there. Like, oh, this is a demon diplomat who probably can't do anything. And she's really hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I loved her reaction when he put when he put his hand around her. Mm-hmm. Albedo, I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna kill him, she's gonna kill him, she's gonna kill him. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cracking sound. Like... Yeah, I said, oh! Mm. The moment I saw that hand go to the shoulder, I was like, Ugh. Yeah. I, I feel like, I, I think I, I felt her pain at that moment. I was like, yeah, girl, same. <laughs> I'm surprised she's hanging on and not like just insta-killing him right there. I'm sure she didn't at least break a finger. Mm-hmm. At the oh, I, I can't. You know when it happens, though. It was like Overlord's really good at delivering painful. See, like when it happens, it's gonna be glorious to watch. Oh she, my god! I'm. I'm to... Oh my god! I'm literally going to. Ugh, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> I also love her assistant, like the uh, the other blonde chick that's like working for her, but yeah. it's like. <laughs> when when Philip tells her like you think uh, oh, it'll marry me and she just flips out I was like no it was, <laughs> no oh my happen. god what the it fuck it'll never happen what yeah, right. the fuck like, are you Jesus. trying to hit on her <laughs> <laughs> just flips out Jesus Christ no anything but that <laughs> you're gonna get us all killed <laughs> you dumb bitch <laughs> uh, I love how everyone else is like trying to just warn him to not do stupid mm. things and he's like I'm gonna do the stupid things <laughs> I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, and of course, yeah, the ending with um, Renner and the, the, the Albedo, of course, getting along perfectly because they're both oh, insane. Yonders. Literally, the, yes, they're just the same person. They're the same person. It's like, oh, you tell me about your insane love for the other guy that you treat like shit. Yeah, oh, yeah tell me so. about your. Tell me about your obsession with this guy. Okay. <laughs> tell me about how you stalk this guy, and I'll tell you about how I stalk my guy. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I'm glad Albedo has someone that she can bond with. Yeah, I do. Hope, <laughs> I do want to see more of them together, just like yeah, being fucking weirdos. That, um, yeah. God, I'm, I'm, I forgot how much I enjoy the princess just running around with her little schemes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing how this kind of ties into the rest of the season. Yes. Um. What I assume is going to be just them working, from what it sounded like, was just them undermining yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Empire to the point where, uh, oh my god, what is the name of the main character? Eins? Eins, there we go. <laughs> yeah, not Eins. <laughs> Close. Eins? <laughs> where Eins can just swoop in and take that. Empire for himself. Yeah, Albedo gave um, the princess a, a box, so I'm assuming that's just like gonna be useful for killing, uh, like the prince or whatever the king. Like at some point, yeah. she's just gonna have to turn on the king. On the king yeah, me. yeah. And then she, it, I forget if it was a princess or Albedo who who referenced that whole gala, the whole ball mm-hmm. as a feeding ground. I thought they were going to murder all them people like Yeah, tonight. me too. But then I was like, why? <laughs> I mean, why not? Yeah, I'm like, what do, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? Listen, I'm I'm just like Eins who also knows nothing. Mhm. <laughs> yeah, but when <laughs> they were like, "Eins, you're so brilliant. I can't believe you thought about all of this beforehand." <laughs> right. I wish you would give me credit for stuff I didn't come up for with. For real. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to next week. Mm-hmm. All right, up next, uh, we have Devil is a Part-Timer, Season 2, Episode 
one. Oh my God, season two. That was a part timer. I know. We made it. Yes, we're here. It's it's been a decade, but we made. It. <laughs> yeah. Gives me hope oh. for so many other shows. Right. So this new animation is really refreshing. I really like it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very up to date. Everything's very pretty. Um, very well detailed. No, literally zero complaints on that front. Um, do I remember anything from the original? No. I feel like it's and, not that complicated. Like, yeah, it's not. Remember. It's not. I think it was a good enough recap. Yeah. At the beginning, so I'm fine with it. Um, let's see. But um. <laughs> I really love the dynamic between uh, Amelia and the Demon Lord, Mao. Yeah. They're very fun. I love their back and forth. I love all the, the obs not kind of obscure references they make. Like, they, I guess because where they work at is a playoff of McDonald's. Now they're just saying everything else, but not calling it that brand name. Oh, like instead of Amazon, instead of Amazon, it's Jungle with I thought <laughs> yeah. that. That's Actually, I all like the that different one. interpretations. That's my favorite one. Because usually they just be lazy with it and they'll just be like Bamazon or something. Like right. That. They like, say, no, this one is like, we're inverting the whole thing. It's just called Jungle. jungle. Right. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, it was a uni slow or something like yeah, that. Yeah, uni slow. <laughs> that was funny. So that was that was cool. The cockroach scene. <laughs> By relatable. the way, I had I had very I had relatable. I had a feeling when they were calling those names. I was like, in my mind, I was like, oh, is that something from their world? And I was like, mm. nah, it's giving. It's giving, um, these are names from, like, the animal kingdom. Like, yeah, like the species phylum mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, all that, all that jazz. Which was the case. Yeah, fuck that. I love how they went to uh, an extreme to kill it. I, would, I completely understand. I would also whip out a giant fucking hammer to kill a small bug if I had one. Mm-hmm. And it would only cost you a couple of hundred dollars in repairs. Yep, but I would be safe from the bug. Until another one would come. <laughs> <laughs> Can't buy peace of mind. <laughs> Bitch, says you. <laughs> um And then while they're doing some kind of of um whatchamacallit, what's they're looking for? Ritual, have a ritual for on. I guess honoring the dead. Mm. Then some giant apple comes out. <laughs> random. And, but okay, I'll take it. Yep, it's just an apple, and even more random. The apple turns into a lolly. <laughs> I love um before that when <laughs> Mao just like first off he went in on Amelia with her with the with the uh what you gonna call it flat chested jokes. Ah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> And that's yeah, what but the whole thing. but but to be fair, Emilio went even harder, just basically calling them poor for like the whole episode. Yeah, I like the yeah, I like the dynamic between them because it's just like on one hand, it's supposed to be this grand thing where it's like the devil versus these angels, but on the other hand, it's like they're super fucking petty and it's like right. back and forth. Right, and and sort of I don't know. You would think they'd be arguing about like more. Gr like something more grand like mm -hmm. oh my army's better than your army or ah, I remember when you assholes died in this war or something like I'll that nah. my friends and shit nope yeah no it's it's talking about flat chest sports bras and mm -hmm. not being able to afford AC mm -mm -mm. that suck yeah for <laughs> but yeah it, it was a very fun episode very much the premise of what this show is, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. um, Curious to see what they do with the baby. Yeah, and where we get to find out how and where it came from. Because mm -hmm. clearly not Mao and Amelia's child. 
I'm thinking either an alternate timeline type of scenario or the baby just is confused. Yeah, one or the other. Maybe it's like you know how like some babies like imprint on the first people they see. Maybe. It's oh, that. that's a good point. Yeah, like oh, I saw you first. Yeah. Right. Maybe. No. No. We'll see. Yes, we will. All right. Next up is not Ruby because we already went through all three other episodes. Up next is Utaware Rumono. Nope, we got a show before that. No, oh, I lied. Oh, you know what the gag is? I was already there, mm. and then I scrolled right past it. Nice. <laughs> like I was, I was too prepared. I was so over prepared. That I so you it over prepare for things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Up next, we have Jashin Chan Dot Kick X episode two. <laughs> Excuse me, man. This I saw cute. a comment on the video. And it kind of made something click for me. What? And it was just like, oh, Jashin Chan is basically just Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and Jashin is basically just Master Shake. And I'm like, holy fuck, you're, <laughs> you're ready. Wait, the Master what, Shake? The, the milkshake. Who's just an asshole to everybody and gets killed all the time. <laughs> oh, that's that. I never, I, I don't think I really watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force like that. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I, I gotta see, show I you a clip like, of Master Shake. You, yeah, you, if I you look at it through the eyes tops. of, if you look at it through the eyes of Jashin Chan, you'll just realize like, oh my god, this is literally just Jashin Chan, <laughs> which I find hilarious. I don't know who the fuck is Meatball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Probably Pekora. <laughs> Whoever the like softest, most uh, easily bullyable character is. Oh yeah, definitely Pekora. <laughs> 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 Uh, but, um, so I love that, who was it? Oh, was it with, um, Pino, when she realized that Liad is here? Yeah, yeah. She starts with, like, some, with some, (laughs) this is great, this is a great episode for Pino. (laughs) Yes. Um, and she just whips, I think she, is it her or Joshin that whips out the Apex healing reference? No, it was her. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The Apex healing fucking syringe <laughs> right i'm just like wait what <laughs> <laughs> yeah the random bits of references and humor seem like they just work well i don't know <laughs> they do yeah um and i love how you know we do assume that lier was like kind of like oh i guess she's not that hot because you know she just got taken out so easily by that punch Mm. But then she gets up and literally tears uh, Jashin in half. Yeah. Very gruesomely. To which Jashin is just immediately like, okay, I'll be your servant. You're strong. Yeah. Uh, she changed right. allegiances like 12 times in this episode. Uh, yeah, she is <laughs> truly she aligns to whoever disgusting. kills her because they're stronger than her. Yeah. To the point where we kind of realize by the end... Pino and Jashin are a lot are way more similar than oh, yeah. than I thought. Yeah, Pino and Jashin have the same dynamic with their respective like overlords. Pretty much, she's just trying to kill the angel. Her being paranoid and just like for half the episode and just being like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh god!" <laughs> and they're just that's half the episode. Just her freaking about about dying. <laughs> when she opened the door because they knocked, and she just starts <laughs> punching. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I have to make a clip of that. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> not a, not a Uh they're so this this so, show is so silly. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Meanwhile, though, Lier is relatively chill. Like oh, yeah. she, She's so pretty chill. I, so and funny enough, and I guess now that I've said that how Pino is similar to Jashin. I think mm-hmm. Lier is pretty much similar to um, Yurine. Yeah, yeah, that's why they get along so well, too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking scene where Joshin comes up behind her and just like tries to like choke her out. <laughs> right. And then 
you're in it also kind of literally also drops from the sky did you catch that yeah she came up like behind her like no floating. I, yeah she just floated <laughs> <I'm> like what <laughs> uh also yet another Mi- hatsune miku reference i think hatsune, hatsune miku might just be in every episode <laughs> i feel I, yeah i feel like she's just a uh, recurring she's, character right i didn't get that scene like there's some dude in the background with something written on a shirt like mm-hmm. i just have it to like support her or something mm-hmm. Oh, was he? Oh, maybe he was like stalking Hatsune Miku. Was that? Maybe. I gotta look at that scene again. Right, and she was poking whole, Josh's whole tail with the... that goes on in the background. <laughs> oh my god! And then it ties in to the main Imagine. plot, just like oh, what was that anime where they did that? Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Centaur's life. No, 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 no. Um. The anime with 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 the super villains. Fuck. Um. The anime with the super villains. Wait, wait. Let me put put back. Did we watch books. it recently? Um, it was like a couple of seasons ago. But um, some fight got with that. Um. Oh, oh I know what you're talking about. Book? Yes. The one, the, uh, um, fuck. Were they the two girls and they're like um part time villains or whatever? Yes, yes, yes. They're part time villains. Yeah, I forgot and then they, <laughs> and then right, and then they end up getting hired, <laughs> and they're like, they're like CEOs. Yeah, damn, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good point. They could wrap around. Yeah, something like that. I would love. Damn, I really can't find the name of this. That's annoying. That's okay. I'll live. Oh, yeah. Kaijin, Kaijin Taihatsubu. There we Ooh. go. So yeah, that I guess only time will tell. Yeah, I, I'm glad it's keeping up the uh, the same level of comedy and nonsense as the previous seasons. Yeah, so headed for next week's episode. Very funny. Let's move on to to what I was going to introduce last time. Uta wareru mono. Utari no Hakuoro. Episode four? Yes. Episode four, which I think is my episode of the week. Same. Yeah, how strong I mean, the series. Not? Yeah. Go on! Oh. My I girl, told you this shit was gonna happen. What? <laughs> I told you this shit was gonna happen. <laughs> my girl Kwan went through it. Mm-hmm. Also questions, but also mm. damn, like, oof, J- yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I am happy that we get reintroduced to the older, not the older characters, the characters from our hometown. Mm-hmm. It's good to see some some familiar faces. Um. But yeah, I didn't realize that this village was going to get heavily involved in like this series. I thought I kind of thought you know how it's like oh we like this uh, a season from season to season they can the anime can just move from one location to the other and we're like oh mm. we're in this location now and that's it kind of yeah yeah in, in some anime yeah not this one. Because now the people of Tusker are like, oh yeah, now that your, your model's been drastically weakened and they attacked us, we're going to invade them now. Yay. Perfect chance to invade them. Yes, kill your friends. I mean, her friends aren't there anymore, so it's all right. I'm At sure she's going to run into them. The, oh, no, yeah. As, the, as they both attack Yamato. <laughs> Yamato. <laughs> Yamato. Um, and then they talk about her her disease returning. Mm-hmm. Did they ever? Do you know what they referenced? I feel like they the they season? might have referenced it in the first season because <clears throat> the that characters from that village are actually from the original series, 
and there was a disease. Yeah, yeah like the Kuan's mother. I remember her. Like Kuan's mother in the original series was like that sick girl who was just like always about to die. So it makes sense that she had that disease. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> like, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. She had some crazy disease. Hmm. But yeah, I don't remember specifically if they brought it up before in like the first season or not. I feel like they might have, or like at least hinted at it or something. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the first season was just like slice of lifey hijinks. Yep. And then like the last few episodes were like, okay, now shit's serious. <laughs> yeah, th- literally that. And now we're getting to the season and it's like, alright, now we're being serious. Now all the shit's happening. Yeah, because... And we're thinking, oh, you know what happened? Oh, she was just... And they were like, oh, yes, you were sick because of a heartbreak, and you are very sad because of the heartbreak. And that is why you do not remember anything, Mm -hmm. because of the heartbreak. And then we learn towards the end, (laughs) girl, it's a lot more, a little bit more than heartbreak. Yeah. I think she was, like, in a volcano or some shit. Uh, Yeah, in a volcano, about to throw herself in there. <laughs> a little a little bit more than heartbreak, yeah. Yeah, about to throw herself in there. Cause she's just like, I fuck this, I don't wanna live in this world. Mm-hmm. And which oh, I felt so bad for her. And then her fa and then her father tries to save her, and then she ends up freezing his hands. I was like, wait, what? Whew. Yeah, I guess I'm it's like, part of her power. She just like yeah, lost control. Her, of her. her power slash disease. Mm-hmm. What the fuck's happening to her? Yep, and then she fell unconscious. And then she was like, oh, my friends are in, co- in trouble. I can't remember now. Let me race back. And then they're like, nope. <laughs> they're like, I'm actually, hey. I'm actually surprised they actually. Uh, I was fully expecting her to like just convince them to go with her to help uh, her friends. And it didn't work out that way, so I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Yeah, me too. Because that would have been some bullshit. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, like yeah, friendship. Hope... Yeah, dude's like, no, you're like the princess. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you can't the heir just... to the whole fucking country here. You can't just leave. You can't just leave. And then she's like, okay, how about this? How about as the princess, mm. I leave, huh? Huh? And then she's like, I'm gonna invade them. Yeah! You can't which invade I was them, like, I'll invade them. Which I was like, whoa, the fuck? Oh, and I'm just like, oh my god, is that even Kuan? And Hako are gonna fight each other? <gasps> Yo, they're both gonna lead, like, armies into battle against each other. We're gonna it, see, like, they're both gonna fight against Yama- Yamato. Then they're yeah. all gonna look at each other and be like, I want Yamato. No, I want Yamato. Then they're gonna fight each other. <gasps> Woof! Oh my god. This is I feel like this is not gonna have a happy ending. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's gonna kill Kuan. Uh, Kuan. She's gonna kill Haku. And yeah. Haku's like, it was me all along, bleh. bleh. And she's like, well, <laughs> back to the volcano. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Well, as I, as I was doing, as I was before. Uh-huh. Woo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a lot. Yes. This is a lot, and I like that it was... I like that it was just... It was an episode where there wasn't much action, Mm -hmm. but yet it was, you know, the plot twists and the reveals were were tasty enough that I was was definitely satisfied. Same. Mm -hmm. No, excuse me. But wait, was it this anime... I think there was some anime that I watched. Wait. Mm. I think this is the anime I watched where they kept talking. Mm-hmm. They kept talking about like disease and sick. And I'm just like, oh my god, please stop saying that. It's making me want to throw up. <laughs> yeah, not the best time for you to watch it. Yeah, not at all. Ugh. Ugh can't wait for next week. Alright. Up next, we have. Harem in the Labyrinth, um, episode two. Yep. Yes, episode two. No, for an anime that's about having a harem, mm-hmm. I'm kind of 
I'm really shocked, but in a good way that they're like very they're very um how you say uh dedicated to the world building as yeah. opposed to just it being like not it's like for I, 30 i'm mi- pleasantly for 20 surprised by it because it's like yeah it's not overly like super we're, we're not getting made in abyss levels of world building but it's like good in the sense that like oh yeah at least it's paying attention to so like like I love the MP system that they have where it's just like you become more negative and like fucking <laughs> suicidal the more MP you use. Oh bitch, I must have had a <laughs> low MP for the whole yeah, whole year, M- for a huge part of my life. <laughs> my MP bar would be like five. <laughs> right. <laughs> but bitch, my MP bar was in the negative. I mm. I don't know why I found my ether, but thank god I did. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I like I like my rule for Isekai that's like takes place in games and stuff is it better not fall into the sora online trap where it just like uses the fact that it's in a game but never actually pays attention to any game elements i like that this one does where it's like oh stat allocation matters and he can make his weapon recover his mp and his hp like it feels like he's in a game yeah he, he actually has to pay attention to all the gamey stuff yeah unfortunately because i was on the verge of death as i was watching it i couldn't like focus on that too much i literally would just like get through the episode without dying <laughs> and it, but, there actually wasn't yeah. any um any etchy in this episode it was just like it was not and it was just pure yeah just isekai shenanigans glad it wasn't like uh some some etchy like to like just have random forced like they have to fill a quota every episode like oh fuck we didn't show any tits this episode uh yeah. quick <laughs> he walks into a brothel and sees a bunch of naked elves or something Right. Yeah, so I, I like that. I like that lack of etchy. Because I feel like there's some points where you can have etchy. You know, you, you got 12 episodes. That's plenty yeah, of time for no, etchy. No need to rush. Just take your time. Quality exactly. over quantity. I feel like he's going to get his busty slave girl next mm-hmm. episode. And then that's when the shenanigans will start. Exactly. And in the meanwhile, I can wait for it. So... And this is our, this is the, this is the Patreon selected yeah. anime too, right? Yep. Okay. I see y'all. I, yeah. I see y'all for now. You, you, y'all have not disappointed me <laughs> this time. Yes. You guys, say, has it been a disappointment yeah. since Shadowverse, actually? For, in, a, in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> since Shadowverse, <laughs> since exactly. the dark ages of Shadowverse. <laughs> yes, I think Shadowverse was like the worst one, and then they re- and then they realized we were serious and we were like, no more bad ones ever again. Mm-hmm. Or we're dropping it. Exactly. So, very satisfied with what was happening. Um, I will say... Th- it, it, it was like almost a double it was a double edged sword in a sense though mm-hmm. because while it was oh you know it wasn't that was etchy it didn't lean on the etchy it was just kind of a isekai episode the bad news it was it, it was just an isekai episode like it wasn't anything too exciting yeah it was time. super it was super chill i was actually Very playing basic. like final fantasy while i was watching and i was just like grinding uh, levels out and i was like oh cool i can play final fantasy and pay attention to this perfectly fine <laughs> <laughs> exactly so it's just very you know middle of the line yeah. for me so yeah um i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna feel if it's just if it's just like oh this is just him doing quests and buying money so you can buy girls the anime that might be a little uh, but i think it's gonna be more than that probably i feel like once he gets um I forgot her name already. Roxanne. Once yeah. you get to Roxanne, I think they'll probably start doing like some minor adventuring together. Well, I'm excited for next episode because we hunting some bandits, baby. Yes. He's like, oh, time for murder. And I am here for some murder. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yes, that. The end of that. That's also the end of our weekly reviews. Um, I think we're just gonna end the episode here because my stomach is going through it, yes. and I'm not trying to tempt fate any longer. So we're gonna have to cut the podcast a little short this time. Our apologies. It's just you know <laughs> circumstances I've been, beyond our control. I listen. <laughs> I've been farting, and I'm so scared that one of these farts is gonna turn into a full blown shit. 
So, and on that note, yep, <laughs> take it away. If you guys <laughs> enjoyed this episode of Wife of Wars, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you catch all the episodes as they go up every week. If you haven't already, do follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, and join the party on our Discord. All linked in the description down below. You can even become a patron or a channel member, like all these lovely people on screen right now, and make the, who make the show possible. And join us for our weekly live watches. Drew, do you have anything like that? Um, everyone, take care of your, your gastrointestinal health to the best of your abilities. You know, eat vegetables, just, you know, the ones that aren't spoiled. Yes. Stay away from spoiled vegetables. And until next time, this has been Silver O'Neill and... Drew, we do. We'll catch y'all later. Later. Bye.